just follow them. I mean, yeah, I use technology, I have it. I just forward it to, you know, the, the main readers in the band, which is about, I would say probably about 25% of that group, the Panorama side. And they would, they would um, bring it to the yard and show their fellow players. Uh, so by the time I reach up the road, it's just to run it. People don't feel supernovas have it easier, because if all I could see, they're practicing in a community mm -hmm. center. Yeah, I mean, as I alluded to earlier, the community helping us out right now, uh, because we are not sponsored yet. Um, we get assistance for Panorama, but as you know, Panorama is an expensive thing, yeah. especially for a young group. Um, so as you see, pans getting chromed and instruments um, looking nice and shiny. It wasn't always so. I mean, we started with rusty pans and all of that, but as I say, everybody have a vision for the group, especially players. They know what they want and they know the level they want to reach at, so they sacrifice a whole lot for the group and um, we thank them for that. Um, but, you know, we, we really want to, we will, we will need to get out there soon because they have plans to demolish this building and set up a, something new. So right now we're in the process of um, allocating a piece of land close by and um, hopefully get some funding to, to start building, you know. But um, we have some nice ideas for what we want to do, um, but as, as, as you know, bit by bit. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, I'll get rich there now. Yeah, yeah. This band will reach. <laughs>
Only? Yeah. You like it? Um, I would say so. Which one you like the best? Even though you're playing bass, that is the best that you find like the best or you want to play and expand? Um, apart from bass, I play ten already, but I think the bass is kind of easier, so I prefer that. What make it play a pan? Why you choose pan? Well, actually, I didn't choose pan. Eh? Pan cho chose me. Mm -hmm. Because, okay, how I started playing pan at eight years old, I was in the school, school compound, primary mm -hmm. school, and I just heard something, and I went to the room, and I just walk in and start to play. And then Marco. Yeah. <laughs> and then I started to play the song. All right, and that was so it. I, so you the person you're talking about that is, you the score sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you learn music also? Um come again? You learn to read and write, carry. Yeah, yeah, from school. Okay, yeah. cool. What brought you to Supernovas? Um well, I started playing when Mr. Carlton started with classes, mm -hmm. and from then we went to the junior band, and then, well, they told me I should come and try for Panorama, and that's how I ended up in this band. I uh, hear in this name of the Mr. Carlton, he's like what? Yeah, well, he started the band like this youth band, mm -hmm. and then generated into a large band. So, both of you from the youth band? Yeah. And you have formed the youth band? Well, formed the big band. But actually, the, the big band is responsible for the youth band. Because we try to put back into the communities mm -hmm. some of the experiences that we have had. And Mr. Carlton, as they say, is the guy that does the tutoring of the junior band. Okay. He's the guy that teaches the young ones to play the pan. As you see, Zoe is an example of his work. You know, he so does a brilliant you. job. So. Well, I see Zoe has some. She's going to make it far, man. She starts off nice. Yeah. So I right, right, talk to Olio, I want to see Olio jamming. Yeah. So Olio, let's see what they have. Supernovas. Welcome back. We have just heard from our 2014 small band champions, Supernovas, band led by Amrit Samaru, the son of the living legend Jit Samaru. And now it's time for the Did You Know segment. Did You Know, the first southern band to win a national panorama was Guinness Cavaliers in the year 1965? Well, now you know. We'd like to say a special thanks to our sponsors, Point Lisa's Nitrogen Limited. To you, the viewers, please join us next week for another episode of Diatonic Pankalang, where we feature NGC Steel Explosion and Quadrington Pan Family. <laughs>